Good morning, everyone. This is Gloria. Today is Tuesday, July the 23rd, 2013. I'm one week post-op, believe it or not. Uh, this is my second time starting this video. My husband had called me and messed it up. But anyhow, um, I'm doing well. Uh, I didn't get to weigh myself because my husband got in such a hurry and left, he forgot me. And I was right now, I was trying to eat my breakfast. Today was my first day getting to eat, um, you know, like the scrambled eggs and um, like grits. And um, <clears throat> there's like two tablespoons of each, but I didn't finish all that because I was just full. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm progressing uh, pretty good, I think, anyway. Uh, pain's down a whole lot from what it was you know I still have I can't so much say pain you know I have um some uncomfortableness but um I mean I'm tolerating it you know that's uh can be expected um the one thing about it with going through this you know I can um I uh, find out who my true friends are here. I mean, I'm not talking about anybody on YouTube. I'm talking about here. Um, while I'm in this hospital, my husband was the only one with me. Um, which I didn't, you know, I told my family they didn't have to come down there to Atlanta. But since I've been home, uh, still no visitors. Which I'm thinking, you know, it's kind of odd. Not really many phone calls. Uh, one of my friends that I thought, you know, I mean, him been friends for eight or nine years. Didn't even bother to pick up the phone and call me. Oh, well. They always say you find out who your true friends are when you're down and out. But that's no, neither here or there. Um, but I have noticed, you know, I'm, I am losing. I just don't know exactly to what extent because my sister had gave me this house cup for only in the hospital and I couldn't even make the front of it meet but now I've got it on got it zipped up and everything today's my first day of uh, actually um, putting clothes on one well somewhat clothes on I've got underclothes on in this uh, I got tired of wearing a gown but um, I seem to be getting more independent every day with uh, being able to do for myself um, the morphine really clouded um, my head some, and I didn't realize, you know, how much this morning I got to thinking, you know, the hospital stay is almost a blur to me now. Um, I know I went back and looked at my earlier videos, you know, like when I just came out of surgery and all that, and I was like, oh. um, my husband should have um, gave me a wet rag, at least let me wipe my face, and those crusty lips off, because my lips, oh my God, my mouth and lips were so dry. But, of course, you all know that if you have been through it. But for the pre oppers at first, I thought, it ain't worth it, it ain't worth it, it ain't worth it. But now that a lot of the pains went away, it's going to be worth it. You know, to be able to lose the weight and have... Um, have more control uh, because I know before this I stayed hungry very hungry it's like I had no control I mean I could eat and eat and eat and my belly would still growl but now I don't have that um, my acid reflux is gone thank God um, I'm still having trouble getting my lungs built back up of course, you know, with uh, having uh, asthma and all, it makes it, um, makes it worse. <clears throat> but, you know, I'm learning to sip, which uh, if you're still pre-op, you learn if you drink too much or try to eat too fast, um, your body will tell you real quick. Uh, other than that, I um, don't have a whole lot to report. I'm just um, letting everybody know I'm still here. Still watching the videos and everything. Um, but if I think something later, I may get back on and um, talk about it or whatever. But um, 
it's rough, you all, but uh, I think it's worth it in the end, especially if you have uncontrolled hunger. Now, I'm not talking about just the munchies and all that. That munchy thing, that takes a lot of willpower. But I'm talking about physical hunger, like me with the diabetes. I guess that's the reason why my belly growled so much and all is because, you know, my body actually was hungry. But anyway, I didn't get up to 355 pounds by having control. But now, that's all going to change. Well, y'all have a good uh, rest of the day. And I'm going to get over and get this posted so everybody can see I'm still amongst us. So, uh, anybody's having surgery this week, I know James, uh, R N Y guy, uh, your surgery's tomorrow. Good luck. Uh, just keep in mind, it's going to be worth it. You're going to have the little gas pains and stuff, but then again, you may just fly right, you know, right through it, you know, because some people don't have a lot of pain and some do. I'm just, uh, I tend to be full of hot air anyway, <laughs> so um, that could be why I had so much trouble with gas. But anyway, um, y'all have a good afternoon, and I will talk back at you later. Love you. Bye.